We want our users to be able to tell which of the nav items is supposed to have a drop down. So we are going to be adding some downward pointing icons against any item that has a drop down so that by looking at it our users will be able to tell that if they hover on this particular item a drop down is going to appear. So it is the same like what we have on the finished project here. Now there are many great libraries out there with amazing icons that you can use on your project. The one I have chosen for us to use in this project is called Ion Icons and you can search on Google for Ion Icons and I believe the first link is going to lead you to this page where you can see a list of all the icons in this library. Now to install this library in our project, you can click on the usage link here on the navigation bar and on this page you will find the instructions on how to install it in our project. The installation and usage is very easy. All we need to do is to copy these two links. Uh, they're actually scripts. And then we paste it in our HTML just before the closing body tag. When we have done that, we can now go back to the home page and if we want to install any or if we want to display any particular icon, we can scroll around and look for that particular icon and click on it. Or we can also search for it here and then it will filter that particular icon, it will filter the results that match that icon. And then when we identify the icon, we'll click on it and this interface will appear with a line of code representing that icon. If we click on that line of code, it's going to copy it and then we can just go to our nav item where we want that icon to appear. And we want it to appear, appear against the best articles item because that item has a drop down. So we will paste the code here. Uh, one addition I want to make is to add a CSS class here called nav icon. Uh, we are going to write define this CSS very soon. All right, so that's where we want one of the drop downs to be. I'm going to copy this because I've added that class to it. And then we also want this link or rather this icon to appear against the locked in user's username. So I will paste it here against the locked in user's username. Another icon that we need is the user icon to display against the user's username, which uh, which will indicate to the visitors on our page uh, if they are logged in or not. So we will search for user and then this looks like a good icon so I will click on it and then I will copy the source code and paste it just before the beginning of the logged in user's username. I'm going to break this up into multiple lines for readability's sake and I'll be sure to add the nav icon class also to the logged in users or uh, username user icon. Okay, when I'm through with this, we'll go back to our browser and refresh. Okay. Now the icons appear, but they are a little bit too much to the top. So the, that's the reason why I was defining the nav icon class. So let's select this class in our CSS. It is just within the nav item. So I'll duplicate the nav item selector and then I'll pick any nav icon, a nav icon class within the nav item. And I'll give it a transform translate of four pixels which simply says that the icon should move down by four pixels okay and that seems to adjust the issue we had i'm also just going to give the icons a font size 
of 16 pixels and I think this looks good now now another thing when you look at this uh, one thing you will observe is that it our navigation bar is displaying the locked in users username as well as the login and the register links at the same time but you cannot have these two displaying simultaneously so you can you can either have the login and register link or the locked in users username link so i'm just going to comment out the locked in users username link our nav item for now and this way we can focus on designing the other aspects of the navigation bar since we are already through with the locked in users username item so the next thing i want us to add the next icon i want us to add is this our search icon and this is going to be a little bit tricky because we are we will be using javascript to make this effect where you click on the icon and the search input appears. <laughs> 